enter, enter my humble abode. I spent all morning cleaning. I'm stressed, I have no lipstick. Please don't look at me, just look at the house, that's why you're here. Come through this way, first of all, please, down the little steps that my mother has fallen down, broken her ankle, as has my mother-in-law. Unfortunately, they both survive. <laughs> Welcome to my sofa. I found this sofa in a shop in Shoreditch. Not this actual sofa, this one was made. I fell in love with the colours. I just, I just, um, I would, I would, I don't know, sell my hair for a wig to buy another one. I'm not telling you where it's from because I don't want anyone to have one. This is my sofa. It's a one-off. And if anyone does get one, I'll set fire to their house, perhaps. But very secretly, so I don't end up in prison. <laughs> it was a bit boring, this area. So um, we were due to move into the house in two days. And I said to Richard, rid out Mr. Wheeler, I need some shelves. He's like, we haven't got time. Yes, you have. Boys, build the ladies some fuck shelves. And they did. So I'm delighted with them. And I think they're really lovely. That's it. This is my gorgeous piano. I have had lessons for five years. Every Monday, my friend Juliet Veron comes around, good, lovely Guernsey lady. We drink tea and talk about things, nothing to do with the piano. And she doesn't charge me, so it's fine. Okay, right, so I'm leaving the sofa and the piano, which I love. Up here is a little light fitting for my disco ball, which has not yet been fitted, and uh, the dance floor area. My two small dining table that needs to be enlarged. And now I'm into the kitchen. The kitchen in which I do not cook, because cooking is for wimps. I can't stand cooking. It's a waste of time. A lady who cooks is waste her life, is my motto. <laughs> I do like sitting here with a cup of tea. And we look at the view. <laughs> We have my little area where I read the papers, sew on school name tags, gnash to my pals, think about housework, never do housework. The bench was the brainstorming idea of my lovely builder, Richard. He said, all you need to do is sit here and look at that view. So we needed a step. How do we make the most of the step? So we were just going to have bookshelves and then we thought, no, we'll have a bench. When I'm old and old granny, you have a bench made, don't you? And you look out on a cliff path. I've already got my bench. I just need the little brass plaque. Hopefully not with the word deceased on yet. OK, so as I walk through my starchy gallery, that was the idea. Unfortunately, the paintings aren't worth half as much. And the little Lego table, table from the Taj Mahal. We come up to the lovely hallway where it's good to have a boogie. And um, you can't see it, but there is a little chest there. And maybe you can remember it when I came in. It's called the coffin and lovely Marge. Um, we come up these stairs where I wanted to descend these stairs like a princess in a massive ball gown when I got married. But I'm already married, so I'll leave that up to my daughters, <laughs> maybe. This is the, the first kitchen. This is um, my son Freddy's room, which you can't see because it's filthy. And then this is a uh, shower room, which you can see because I tidied it. And this is my daughter Susie's room, which I did tidy. And uh, frankly, it's killed me. And here are pictures of Susie with her. Oh, I think it might be her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> He's been erased. Oh, great. So you found Lottie's room. Lottie's my youngest daughter. I love Russian dolls, and whether Lottie loves them or not, I have made her love them. I've had this duvet cover for years. I bought it in London. So hopefully Lottie loves them, because otherwise I'll just have to move in, but that wouldn't be such a bad thing, would it, really? Do you like the yellow grout, first of all, before you get out of the bathroom? Do you like it? I love the yellow grout, yes. I think it's got a je ne sais quoi. This is my son Will's room, with his castles and his Toy Story things, and his, he's got a lovely view too. Oh, this door wasn't here. This door was put in so I could see the kids at night easily. Come, come into my bedroom, which you can see has a lovely view and a lovely balcony. It ain't shabby, really, is it? Okay, to the bedroom, into my lovely bathroom. 
which I adore. And all I have one word to say, and this is texture. Oh, I see you found my shoes. I love my shoes. I kiss my shoes. I covered my shoes. Shoes never leave me. Look at my lovely Vivian Westwood. I would sleep with them at night if I didn't have children and a husband. Best things ever, girls. Thanks for looking around my house. It's not for sale. It's not for sale. And uh, I hope you love it as much as I do. Uh, it's not finished yet, so lots of stuff to do, but um, I like to think it's getting there. If you're good looking, pleasant, you can pop around for a cup of tea. But only females, of course. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs>